Drop Down Magnetic Uncoupler Part 3. As you can see by looking at the actual uh, hinge part, not only do we have the magnets mounted under there and the, and the weights, but we've got a triangle of uh, styrene, uh, sort of as a frame there, and some other bits made up to make a sloping face. Now it looks rather complicated there with different bits added on, and that is because, as I said, this is about the Mark IV version. And so I've done different things while I've played around, and I'll make up a diagram on my blog uh, in the next couple of weeks to do uh, a better understanding of it all. But with that triangle part there, its purpose is, says he changing hands, is actually for the rod in the tube to push against. So when it's naturally hanging down, when the module's up the right way, all right, the magnets are away from the track. You then push the rod in and it slides along the styrene. I've got some uh, clear plastic that came off a, uh, a bit of packaging for some fingernail emery boards. It's a nice soft smooth plastic. It gives a nice sliding surface there. But basically we're just pushing that in with the, the paint spray nozzle and that uh, raises up the magnet. In fact I'll see if we can turn it upside down a bit through the wonders of magic of whatever and you can see that it gets pushed up and when it's cooperating it drops back. The core of the next step is the styrene tube. Now to make it a locking mechanism, which is what is the biggest issue I had, I worked out that we had the tube going through to steady the push rod to make sure it ends up in the right spot. But I found that, I'm not sure how well it's going to focus, if I mounted a the top end of a pin, you probably use a small piece of stiff wire, in the uh, bamboo stick, and set it up so it was mounted at a spot that when the rod was fully out holding the hinge part, the magnets in place, that that pin actually stuck to the, it was on the edge of the tube, so it couldn't move any further back. Then what I did was after taking it apart, was I cut out half of the tube. In this case, about a depth of about, or a length of about 10 millimetres, one centimetre. And that is enough that when you rotate it, you see it's clear and it slides down. And that allows this to come down and drop away from the track. And that's basically how the mechanism works. Uh, most of the time, it's really good that um, you turn the knob and the weight of the magnets will, and the nuts will cause it to drop straight away. Sometimes it's a little sluggish. I'll hopefully make a better version uh, for another uh, session another time. Thanks for watching. I hope it inspires you. And hopefully on my web blog, I'll be able to put some diagrams in on the next couple of weeks. Thank you for watching.